So, you know, earlier we had been talking before we came down. There's a whole thing going on at Wendy's, which is, you know, they're the most expensive franchise restaurant out there. And a lot of customers are outraged over the reported plan to implement surge pricing, which is basically just price gouging which is, seems to be happening in many places now because it's happening in supermarkets. You know, people are saying, well, you know, <laughs> the price of food is so high. Yeah. Not realizing it's not the government that's making the price of food so high, it's the supermarkets that are making the price of food so high. <laughs> the same thing seems to be that's happening right. with, with, um, Look at me, I'm doing a Are scooter. Doing a like, I'm on a scooter, no, I'm on a scooter right now. Uber, Uber, yeah. Uber. Yeah. Okay. Uber. Uber. What? Oh. <laughs> well, no, I just want to, can I make my, can I just get to the, okay. Go ahead. Um, and like so many, like Uber, Uber, seems to be doing the same thing, saying, well, you know, if you go at this hour, we're going to charge you this if much. It's if it's raining. If it's raining, yeah. we're going to charge you this much. What the hell is going on? Now, I have, I'm supposed to say that, that Wendy's clarified things, saying it's dynamic pricing. <laughs> it's a price gouge. <laughs> dynamic. Yeah. It's, you know, I mean, it doesn't... Just because you're offering discounts, if people have a fixed time that they go, yeah. this is when they can go. What are you doing? Uh, don't answer me. <laughs> Y'all answer me. So, wait a minute. What so, do you first think? they had a surge, and now they're having discounts because of they, pressure. They, were, thi they so, were thinking about doing that, and then they said, well, no, we'll pro it's just really a price surge. But it's a gouge because they don't have dynamic. to do it. I yes. see. Well, what's the difference? I mean, there were early bird specials, <laughs> and that's a time of the day where a lot of people are not yes. eating, so the prices are a little bit lower. Well, they're a little so bit the lower, difference? but that what doesn't change all during the course of the day, and it's the most expensive one. And how come you get to do that when uh, you know people are struggling? Yeah. We talk about well, this, this all is the time. capitalism. They can't worry about people yeah, struggling. Well, they, well, they got her. They but don't, when though. you talk about Uber and uh, concerts and like uh, plane tickets around the holidays, these are markets. Well, that won't. That's not my point. Uh, um, <laughs> I'll leave that. Point? When I think of surge pricing yeah. or dynamic pricing, I think of Ubers, I think of concert tickets, plane tickets, Restaurants. the supply and demand of capitalism, as you're referring to. Yeah. Yeah. Food is not a luxury, it's a necessity. So when you think of fast food, it's about convenient food. So the people getting hit by these are people that already have chaos. They are not going to do something fun. They are feeding their families. Mm -hmm. They are working two jobs. They don't have the luxury of the early bird special. Um, so I think that's the point that hits me a little different here, is that I recognize it's business and operations, but, if you tell but it's going to hit people If you tell business yeah. to worry about people who can't afford it, they call you a communist. Yeah. So Then call that. me a communist. Okay. Okay. Did, they changed what they were doing because originally it was they were going to surge the prices at peak time, so say dinner time, which would hurt families like the one I grew up in. That shouldn't often they, fast according to supply dinner. and demand, but, shouldn't they lower it? Well, so what they're time? now doing they, is they're lowering they it at other hours. All of this, by so, the way, I, let me just put my legal hat right, right quick. They're, they said that, they, and they're telling me to do it in my ear. Yeah. Wendy's has never surge priced. They then started to introduce this dynamic, dynamic pricing right. system, and they have said that they won't raise prices at peak times. So the good news is when I get my 2 a.m. chicken nuggets, they're going to mm. be cheaper, actually. <laughs> I like right. that. That's, That's right. right. And, and, and I, I felt, you know, as someone who grew up in poverty, I, I, was, I was very concerned when I heard about this, right? Um, however, upon further research, um, an interesting fact is the more money you make, the more fast food you eat. And so, in really? fact, pe people actually oh. eat more fast food as their income levels go up. I suspect it's because Why? you're working so hard that you don't have money, uh, time. have time yeah. to cook a good meal for your family. How long does but it take to not... make a pasta fazool? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so, so but, easy. But isn't that interesting? It's, it's the wealthier people that are... I don't, are, know, if are, that, I don't are, know if that's... that's I don't know that's, that's, that I believe Oh, no, that. The it's research department. Well, <laughs> it's from the CDC. There are all ki there's all kinds the of CDC. facts <laughs> that fly, but <laughs> I'm, fact. I don't know about this one. But for me, what is happening? You know, you say it's, it's, uh, it's not, it doesn't seem strange that you can, when you own a company, you can do what you want with it. Yeah. But I feel like everybody seems to be, and I'm taking it back to the supermarkets because people are, I'm, you know, I go shopping, I go in the supermarket myself, I get my stuff, and I hear people saying, damn, got, you know, last week off. this yeah, was. That's right. And it's them. It's not that we are lo having less money. It's you raise the prices. Why? Why do? 
Why are we allowing that? Well, it's the so, same reason why gas prices went up. All you can do is it, not the go to those places. That yes, were doing it. Well, it's, it's most that's all that. you can do. This is an interesting stat. Grocery prices have jumped 25% over the past four years. So we talk a lot about the economy and how on the macro economy is doing much better. Unemployment mm -hmm. is low. The stock, stock market has low. record gains. Yeah. But people feel this, and so they're like, wait, it doesn't feel like things are getting better. Yeah. I do think that Joe Biden and his State of the Union is going to call on grocery chains to lower prices. Yeah. But These will that actually work? These are businesses that are trying to make more money, and they're yeah. they're squeezing the American Aren't people. Aren't they also and trying it's, to it's catch up from the from the, um, the pandemic? Well, that's, that's pandemic. That's who is it? Because because I noticed that restaurant prices mm -hmm. are much higher yeah. after the COVID yeah. pandemic. Yeah. But who isn't yeah. trying to catch up? Folks didn't work for two or three they, years. Yeah. They didn't yeah. get a paycheck. Yeah. So still aren't working. When they're when you raise the when you raise the prices, it really doesn't make people feel like they want to shop with you. If you're uh, Amazon and you're creeping prices up, it doesn't make people feel good because they were coming to you because you were convenient, you had all this, and now you're twice as much as you greed. used to be. There's a certain amount of greed, uh, too, involved in a mm -hmm. lot of this conversation here. Yeah, which, you they're, know... they're, they're, they're not being good corporate citizens. Well, the mm -hmm. Wendy's CEO made $8 million last year, so I tend to think that sometimes when you're looking not to sound like a communist, I'm but saying, that you know, I don't if, think you're if, a communist. People say that no. now. When you say you care about poor yeah, people well, and you want prices to come down, well, that's all I'm saying you know, is if some of that could maybe you a come down also. a little bit, the, the, the eight all million dollar, a little bit down. Yeah. But um, someone making eight million dollars is doing all right, even after a pandemic. So I just and, think yeah. you got to think about that. So a that we don't get in trouble. Can I say again? Wendy's has said that they are not surge pricing. The uh, dynamic pricing. This dynamic pricing. Yeah. A rose by any other They've name. They've decided would still be a not rose. to do it. <laughs>